Okay, so Joe Button shares his thoughts on the Michael B. Jordan red carpet incident. And here it goes right here. This is what he had to say. Dog, you doing that to a girl sure. and some corny... I can see that. You being that Michael B. Jordan today, uh, allegedly sexiest man in alive in all of these blockbuster my... movies I agree during you. your highlight week. You've probably never been more visible than you are right this second. And that's what you do to her. And if I bring back the white girl rumors, then it's going to sound even crazier. Then it's going to sound crazier. Because why are you talking to our sisters like that on the red carpet? We ain't talking to white people like that. But I'm not... Okay, nigga, this is what you doing. You think you slick. You trying to pander to get your black fan base back for what you said about Meg Thee Stallion. Or what you said about Meg Thee Stallion, you pissed off a lot of black women. So now you slowly but surely trying to pander and, and, and get their, get their, get back in their good grievances. Because let me tell you this, dude. I don't like when niggas do this, man. Michael B. Jordan did not do anything to warrant this type of response. As a matter of fact, it was a very playful response. If you really look at the context of the video, see, this is the problem when you have people like this get big platforms, because now he turned it into something like he bullied her off the red carpet when it was nothing like the case at all. These dudes are so eager for clicks. They're so eager for a hot take. They're really to put extra sauce on the situation that don't even deserve to be. And I just find it funny, dude, you was big. You was based off corny your whole career, homeboy. Like you were the weakest link of Slaughterhouse. You were the weakest link of the A team with with Fabulous and Ransom. Your whole reputation is is known for beating up women, man. So how you gonna sit there and come in Michael B. Jordan and call him corny for how he playfully handled this situation, dude? You need to check the skeletons in your closet because they lingering out. Not to mention. The way you treated your friends. You messed up a multi-million dollar deal with Shady. For your boys at Slaughterhouse. And you know, you had some cool albums. You had some cool mixtapes like the Moon Music stuff. I like Moon Music 3. Inside of Me is one of my favorite songs from Dude. But at the end of the day, man, you couldn't cut it when the, you couldn't cut it rapping. So now you got to commentate and talk ish on the bench. Cause you ain't built. Cause you know you couldn't rap with these with these guys coming in when you had the Kendrick Lamar's and the J Cole's and all them coming in. You couldn't rap with them. You had to sit on the bench. So now you the Stephen A. Smith of rap. And on top of that, this is another thing too. Everybody's eager for a hot take. This moment here did not warrant that situation to really go. Nuclear like it is. So basically, man, you need to check the closet, the them skeletons in your closet, dude, because you ain't have none to throw to Michael B. Jordan. He handled it in a great, in a in a great, mannerable fashion. So that's my take on it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Subscribe, hit the like button, peace.